You know what GPT is, right? It can read and write. But what if I tell you that now GPT will also have vision? I bet this is going to blow your mind. When I was young, I craved nothing more than the next episode of Transformers Animated. But now, I almost have the power of making my own general purpose robot. How? The answer is Google's RT2. So, let us formally start the discussion on Google's RT2 and how it is set to revolutionize the robotics industry. Google just dropped their enormous RTX endeavor and the data Google utilized with over 500 functionalities and 150,000 tasks. What is even more mind-blowing is the fact that it is open source. There is not just one paper, in fact, there are two. The first paper showers light on how you can develop a general-purpose robot from data from varied robotic centers. I would like to emphasize on the fact that these were databases from different colleges on different continents, and Google wanted to test if this diversified data might improve their famous RT2 model. Fundamentally, this model was trained on web data as well as robotics data. That meant it could understand questions like pick up the extinct animal, but the RTX series is another step ahead even though it releases just two months back. The paper underlying that robotic learning approaches train a separate model for every application, every robot, and even every environment. Their main conclusion was that training a single model on that diverse data enabled that robot to outperform even the specialist robots. The enhanced version of the RT1 became RT1X, and RT2 became RT2X. RT1X, as per the analytics, widely outcompetes specialist models. The research has also shown relevance to robot arms and quadrupeds, i.e. four-legged dog-like robots. And here's how it enhanced RT2, which was already a significant improvement over RT1. Google claims that their findings indicate that code training with data from other platforms imbues RT2X with the addition of extra functionalities, allowing it to do unique tasks. As the paper demonstrated, it couldn't do things like move the apple between the can and the orange, or move the fruit near but not on top of the cloth or place the apple on top of the pot earlier. This gives us insights into basic capabilities of this mode that include picking, moving, pushing, placing, sliding, putting, navigating, separating, pointing, and so on. Not to miss out, assembly is also in this list, which could hit the manufacturing industry by storm. The paper shows that Google's model can outperform systems trained just on narrow specific datasets. One way to understand this could be to think about how general and multi-skilled GPT-4 aces in language, from code to poetry and mathematics and more. Now imagine that, but with robotic skills. Now, one question you might have is, how can a dataset for one application be modeled for other applications? Well, they state that, unlike most past works, they are directly training their policy on all of this X embodiment data without any strategies to lessen the embodiment gap. They didn't do any large translation between domains or breaking down the problem into sub-aspects. They did, however, transform the incoming visual data into a standard resolution and unify the action vectors over these seven dimensions. Now the 55 billion parameter number and the fact that it originates from the P model that's undergirding RT2X is the perfect transition to GPT vision. After all, OpenAI directly compared their GPT-4 vision model to P17 billion, which was a forerunner model to PX. And you might see that at least for visual question answering. The P model with its 17 billion parameters outperformed GPT-4 vision. Now let us bring back the GPT-4 vision report back into perspective. The 168-page GPT-4 vision report, in fact, represents a lower boundary of the current frontier of capabilities. To summarize, GPT-4 vision is surpassed by the P17 billion parameter model, which is then outperformed by the PX55 billion parameter model, now integrated into the RT2X robot. And this doesn't even take into account the OpenAI GOI model or Google Gemini, which I'll keep as a topic for a different day. The primary focus of this video is the emergence of large multimodal models. Microsoft also recently released an extensive report spanning over 160 pages. Microsoft took great care to control both the images and text during GPT-4 Vision's training to prevent any exposure before April 2023. Their headline discovery is that GPT Vision exhibits remarkable human-level abilities across various domains they explored. Their ambitions were truly lofty as they aimed to showcase practical business use cases. They introduced a novel approach to prompting, referred to as visual referring prompting, though I'll simply call it visual prompting. Towards the end, they introduced agent structures and conducted tests for self-consistency, which took the research to the next level. Now, let's dive into the first demonstration. They presented GPT Vision with a table featuring drinks they had ordered, accompanied by a photo of the menu. Their query was, 
What should I pay for the beer on the table? According to the menu's price, GPT Vision provided the correct answer. While this might seem like a slow start, consider the scenario where you're on the beach, possibly inebriated, and you have forgotten your order. This capability could be quite handy. The next demonstration involved GPT Vision converting information from a driver's license into JSON format. On the initial attempt, it was not flawless, as it had incorrectly listed the hair color as non-applicable when the license clearly indicated brown. Another highlight from the paper for me was that it says there are ways to enhance the model's performance. In fact, the first method to improve performance is introduced at this point, referred to as chain of thought, a mechanism that allows the model to reveal its intermediate reasoning process. The paper discusses a unique capability that existing models lack. And what's that? Following pointers in the form of circles, squares, or arrows within a diagram. Remarkably, this approach outperforms providing GPT vision with coordinates. Microsoft researchers added arrows to a photo, labeling them as Object 1 and Object 2, and GPT vision accurately analyzed these objects. However, a subtle nuance emerged when interpreting the arrow endpoints. Instead of taking them literally, the model inferred the human's intention, selecting the nearest significant objects, such as a glass bottle and beer, rather than the pavement and table. The paper's major finding highlights the ongoing performance of in-context few-shot learning, even for vision models. In-context learning refers to incorporating prompts, not during pre-training, and few-shot learning involves providing a few examples before asking key questions. Proof-of-concept examples vividly illustrates the growing significance of in-context few-shot learning. For enhancing the performance of large multimodal models, the study demonstrated GPT Vision's ability ability to recognize celebrities, landmarks from unconventional angles, or during nighttime, dishes with toppings and condiments, and perform well in medical image analyses. However, the persistent issue of hallucinations remains, as the model occasionally generates incorrect information, such as describing non-existent features on a map or providing inaccurate numerical data. Furthermore, the researchers claim that the model could not only understand flowcharts, but also translate their details into Python code. A particular instance in Figure 36 shows GPT Vision struggling with an input problem, ultimately returning an incorrect result when comparing two numbers. The paper also mentioned GPT Vision's interpretation of a chart in Figure 37, which analyzed the impact of paper quality on one's career. While the model technically provided a correct answer, it missed the key insight by failing to recognize the significant shift in impact at a certain point. Despite these errors, the paper emphasizes the potential use cases of GPT Vision and highlights an example of Twitter, where the model exhibited a sense of humor and the ability to acknowledge and correct its previous mathematical mistake. This demonstrates the model's capacity not only to generate content, but also to comprehend and engage in humor. So in the end, I would like to discuss some of the use cases of this technology with you, because many impressive demonstrations of ChatGPT Vision have already been carried out. But let's face it, many of these applications are not practical. Sure, ChatGPT Vision can convert your random whiteboard notes into Python code or transform a pencil sketch into a functional website. But but how often will you realistically need to perform these tasks? Conversely, there is a wide range of genuinely valuable tasks that ChatGPT Vision can handle. After spending a week with the system and using it extensively, I've discovered numerous practical applications in real life that this system can excel at. Interestingly, I've observed that ChatGPT Vision is already influencing my interactions with the physical world, but in unexpected ways. So, here are my seven ways to make the most practicality out of GPT Vision. Describe. Ask GPT vision to tell what is going on with any kind of visual data. This can help in automating tasks like cataloging products in the retail industry, leading to operational efficiency gains. Interpret. GPT-4 vision offers deeper meaning and context to visual data, aiding fields like healthcare in the preliminary analyses of complex medical images. Recommend. It goes beyond analysis to provide data-driven suggestions for improvements, making it valuable in creative fields, manufacturing, and real estate. Convert. GPT-4 vision transforms visual data into some thing new, from turning sketches into 3D models to converting handwritten notes into digital formats. Extract. This category not only extracts data from visuals, but also categorizes and prioritizes it, making it useful in the legal sector, research, and e-commerce. Assist. It provides actionable solutions based on visual data, aiding industries like industrial maintenance, healthcare, and customer service. Evaluate. GPT-4 Vision uses subjective judgment for tasks like quality control, content curation, and preliminary critiques in art and design. The eighth one is a bonus. You will be told all about it in your dreams if you subscribe to Innovella, 